Alice Marie Johnson is enjoying her first days of freedom after spending more than two decades in prison. The 63-year-old was released Wednesday after serving 21 years of a life sentence. She was convicted of a nonviolent drug crime. President Trump commuted her sentence after Kim Kardashian West advocated on her behalf. Adriana Diaz spoke with Johnson about her future plans. But I thank you for this meal. On her first full day of freedom, Alice Johnson gave thanks for her new life. With prison now behind her, her future is with her family. Oh I'm feeling no handcuffs, mm. nothing on me. I'm free to hug my family. The 63-year-old great-grandmother was serving life without parole for drug charges. This time yesterday, I was in prison looking through bars. What are you noticing is different? I can't get over these phones. You want a phone? I want a phone. <laughs> <laughs> Katina Scales is Johnson's daughter. Still sitting here, you notice I touch her. It's me making sure she's here. <laughs> 22 years ago, Johnson was convicted of federal drug and money laundering charges. The indictment describes dozens of deliveries and drug transactions involving Johnson, who prosecutors say was a leader in a multi-million dollar cocaine ring. I made one of the worst decisions of my life to make quick money. It was this video on the news site Mike that caught the attention of Kim Kardashian West. And last week, the reality star lobbied President Trump for Johnson's clemency. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that it would be Kim Kardashian who would take my calls on. In prison yesterday, she got a call. It was Kardashian West. When she said home, just that word, I could go home now. I started screaming and jumping and crying. The president had commuted her sentence. What do you say to people who say you committed a crime and you should serve the sentence? I don't believe that there should be a nonviolent offender like myself sent us to life. And she's thankful to the man who gave her a second chance. I just knew him from The Apprentice and other things, and he was always funny to me. I love hearing him say, you're fired. He just told me, you're free. <laughs> Adriana Diaz joins us now. Adriana, what is the first thing Alice Marie Johnson did after being released from prison? Well, her closest family members met her at the prison and they drove hours to get back here to Memphis, her hometown. They spent the evening at her sister's house all together having a big southern dinner that included <laughs> fried chicken and spaghetti and uh, potato salad and pizza. And the list goes on and on and on. I think she had a lot of time to make up for. Um, as for today, she said it this morning, she woke up and she opened her eyes and she saw a ceiling above her and not a bunk bed. And she couldn't believe that this was her new reality. She spent the day surrounded by family, uh, seeing a lot of people doing some interviews, and uh, any time now this evening, she plans to get that cell phone that she really wants. Well, what is she most looking forward to doing? Well, in the short term, she really wants to get up to date, up to speed with technology. She said the one thing she's a little bit apprehensive about is she's been gone a long time and there have been so many advances, especially in terms of technology and phones. So she says, you know, I'm a, I'm a little nervous about that. Um, after our interview, actually, I was showing her my iPhone and her daughter has a Samsung and she was trying to figure out which one was the best and she was asking us. <laughs> um, so the short term, it's getting through things like that. But she's really looking forward to reintegrating into society. She says she wants to start working immediately. She doesn't want to be a drain on anything or anyone. And more so in the long term, she really wants to commit her life to bringing about criminal justice reform and particularly reform in terms of mandatory sentences. She says, you know, I was lucky I got out, but I left a lot of people behind. And remind us, Adriana, how serious were her drug charges? Elaine, we read the indictment. It was very serious. She was charged eight counts on drug-related charges and money laundering charges. Uh, she was involved in a cocaine trafficking ring that involved uh, trafficking the drug between Memphis and Houston, Texas. Uh, her house was used as a place where some of the, the transactions took place. Um, and this was a multi-million dollar operation. Uh, prosecutors said she was a leader in this operation. Co-defendants testified against her. Uh, she says that, you know, she didn't play that leadership role, but she says that she accepts uh, responsibility for what she did, and she believes that she did her time. 21 years. Adriana Diaz, thank you so much, Adriana. Thanks, Elaine.